I find it interesting uh, a move that you made today Josh as we talk about you know the Nasdaq erasing its loss for October as Jim Cramer suggests to buy the weakness in tech. I've been highlighting over the last couple of days the number of stocks within the Nasdaq 100 that are down double digits from their their highs. Um, it was 70 percent on Tuesday which was 65 percent yesterday which is now 53 percent today as the index recovers you bought more Matterport uh, on some news that it had out today and that stock was ripping as I saw it earlier can you tell us about that please yeah uh, to be to be clear that's an average up my my cost is, is lower I've been talking about the stock for a while I I I, I feel like this is the type of story, first of all, it's utterly divorced from everything we were just talking about. Like, the macro has really nothing to do with this at all. So, like, put all that aside. Like, this is a very company-specific uh, story for me. So, they, they came out with an announcement that they have successfully implemented their services within uh, uh, Cushman & Wakefield, which is one of the largest uh, property firms in the world. Um, so that all of their properties are going to eventually have digital twins. They're going to have these dollhouses that are three-dimensional, like they're, they're like a perfect copy of the space. And not only is that important so that a potential tenant can see the space, mm -hmm. but it's important for the construction side, and it's the data that really has the value, the spatial data and the efficiencies that can be derived from that kind of thing for the property owners. So... Um, this is something that, for me, is, is a special situation. I, I couldn't tell you if the next two or three points for the stock are up or down. Well, I'm, I'm buying it as an investment, not a trade. And it's, I don't view it as like, oh, tech stocks got cheap. This one is actually closer to the high than the low. I just view this as something where the news that, that, that is propelling it is the kind of news I want to see. So it's confirmation that I think I'm in the right place. I'll, I mean, I'll tell you the next two points where they're going. They're up because the stock was up like 7 or 8% today, um, and now it's up 11 um, What a move for well, MTTR. I, I hope people are careful because I hope people are careful because it's a volatile stock. It's a, you know, it's a mid-cap or a small cap without a lot of history as a publicly traded company. So... People should do their own research and decide whether or not it belongs in their portfolio. I, I personally have fallen in love with the story, um, so, so I've been accumulating it slowly uh, over time. I hear you.